Well, when um, you're teaching, there's always going to be a challenge with motivating students and keeping their attention. So one thing is uh, move around. Um, there's data that uh, says that teachers who move around, walk around the classroom, uh, get better results than teachers who don't. Um, I taught uh, classes, unfortunately, with three to four hundred students. So there's an additional challenge. Uh, to keep everyone's attention, it's a challenge. Uh, I would have uh, used PowerPoint often or some uh, media of that sort. Uh, I would infuse a number of videos in the thing to make various points plus to keep their attention. And every three or four slides, or sometimes more, I would have a brain break because that would keep their attention. Now let me give you a quick example of a brain break. Um, well, it'd be visual ones. You can go and get all kinds of visual ones off of the uh, internet, but uh, there's brain teasers like, um, <clears throat> let's say, uh, the cowboy rode into town on Friday, stayed three days, and left on the same Friday. And how did he do it? And you'd give him 30 seconds to think. Your, your job isn't to provide brain teasers, but it's to teach, but you want to get them to have a little break. So the answer is his horse was named Friday. So he rode into town on Friday, stayed three days, left on the same Friday. So again, and then you move right back into the content, you go on to the next slide, but you've got their attention then for a minute. I would do magic, but I happen to be a magician. So anything to keep their attention.